Hello and welcome back to the Sharks World, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I have the pleasure and honor of doing a review on a book recently released by Dr. David Schiffman. The book in question is called Why Sharks Matter. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and opinions now that I have thoroughly read the book and listened to the audio version of it as well. And in my opinion, if you consider yourself a shark enthusiast like myself, or you plan on getting into the field of shark conservation or are already in it, you must read this book as it is integral to your understanding of sharks and the situation they're in. Now, let me start off with a caveat that the book brings up, and it's a caveat involving the true reality of shark conservation. Unfortunately, there's a lot of misinformation out there when it comes to the reality of the situation sharks are in right now. It's not as dire as some people would have you believe. You know the world isn't going to end if all sharks disappear. Keep in mind, neither Dr. Schiffman nor I want sharks to disappear. But for some species, or quite a number of them actually, the situation is not as dire as some enthusiasts would have you believe. Please understand, the doctor is not coming at anybody when he brings these up. He's simply highlighting that the reality of the situation is shark conservation is complicated. No one big solution is going to fix the issue. With that being said, one of the reasons why I do highly recommend this book is that Dr. Schiffman gives realistic, tangible things. That the average person can study up on, participate in, or look out for when it comes to things that you can do for shark conservation. Now mind you, it is a lot of data, but as I said before, if we're to make any sort of efforts when it comes to saving sharks or changing the minds of people about sharks, that must start with the numbers. It must start with with the reality of the situation. Dr. Schiffman highlights exactly this. If we're to make any sort of effort in shark conservation, it must be based in fact. And those facts come from the shark scientists themselves. From a reading standpoint, Dr. Schiffman makes the book very approachable for anybody who wants to learn about sharks, even on a basic level. He keeps the four letter words to a minimum and he makes things very enjoyable when it comes to throwing out the shark facts, from telling funny stories to his experience growing up as a grad student, or his experience with sharks and the actual statistics. He's even nice enough to where, in the middle of giving you a bunch of data, he'll give you a random fun shark fact to change the pace. For an average reader, that type of stuff is very much appreciated. In the physical copy of the book, he even has a middle section with a bunch of pictures from throughout his life and experience with sharks. He really makes the book more like a conversation rather than an actual lecture when it comes to learning about shark conservation and the facts. This book has everything from the shark statistics to frustrations with entities like news outlets and Shark Week, frustrations that I myself share with him, to the true reality of shark conservation. If you ask me, this book right here has everything that a beginner or an advanced shark enthusiast can get something out of. I could honestly make several videos from the contents of this book alone, but I'm not going to, as I don't want to take away from all the work the good doctor has done in this book. Please give this book a very thorough read. Like, I'm serious. Like, pause the video, open up another tab, and go to his website. And buy the book. Don't go to Amazon, go to his website and support him directly. You can also get the audio version from Audible. But as far as I'm concerned, I would dub this book the Bible of Shark Conservation and give it the seal of approval of the highest order. A plus in my book. And that's all for this book, ladies and gentlemen. If you've noticed a slight difference in the audio, I've been messing with my settings and equipment to get a better audio output. Please leave your thoughts and comments as far as how you believe it sounds. But 
Thank you for giving me some of your time, and I will see you in the next video. Until then.